A national organization that promotes middle school achievement is singling out Midway Middle School. But what did the school do to deserve the honor? Yeah, pretty awesome. Channel 6's Andrew Moore toured the school today to find out what they are doing differently. Midway Middle School is being honored by the National Forum to Accelerate Middle Grades Reform. They received a School to Watch Award and are only one of 30 middle schools in Texas to be recognized. Principal Herb Cox says the school is doing several things worthy of the honor. That we're very excited. This is this is one of the this is one of the best things that's ever come our way. So what did judges see in the school? Well, Principal Herb Cox says they are doing several things differently, starting with school spirit. They like that we have picture frames with pictures of our students on the wall. Midway Middle School celebrates their kids with pictures on every wall, showing off different clubs and achievements. It's also got a great fine arts program, which they claim is one of the best in the state but it's the academics that are most important. And the school has several ways it helps teachers teach better. Oh, that's one out there. What's another one? The school brings in 25 Baylor School of Education students every semester, which teach the main lessons, while the school's core teacher helps kids that are falling behind or charging ahead of the rest of the class. Cox says bringing in additional staff is not unusual. We can have uh, an instructional specialist step into that environment. We can have an assistant principal step into that environment. Number two, they make sure teachers are helping each other. They meet every day in a group called a professional learning community. You could do like Wednesday would be fun. Where they identify how to best teach kids individually and how lesson plans fit together. It helps prevent kids falling through the cracks when we can talk about this multiple times a week. And number three, kids can spend an extra lunch period in an extracurricular club or a tutoring session four days a week. And sometimes those aren't optional. They're failing in the classes. That teacher picks up their uh, failure, their privilege card and they don't get to choose them. They have to go to that tutorial after their lunch. Because at Midway, you neither learn nor teach alone. This is not a J-O-B for any of us. This is our passion and our calling. After getting that school to wash designation, Midway Middle School will be giving both a state presentation and a national presentation on their education programs this year. Guys.